Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Eats. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement. No reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 26 Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twinned linen, and blue and purple and scarlet with cherubim, the work of the skillful workmen you shall make them. The length of each curtain shall be five hundred and four inches, and the width of each curtain seventy-two inches. All the curtains shall have one measure. Five curtains shall be coupled together to one another, and the other five curtains shall be coupled to one another. You shall make loops of blue on the edge of the one curtain, from the edge of the coupling, and likewise you shall make it in the edge of the curtain that is outermost in the second coupling. You shall make fifty loops in the one curtain. You shall make fifty loops in the edge of the curtain, that is in the second coupling. The loops shall be opposite to one another. You shall make fifty clasps of gold, and the coupled curtains to one another with the clasps, and the tabernacle shall be a unit. You shall make curtains of goat's hair, for covering over the tabernacle. You shall make them eleven curtains, the length of each curtain shall be 540 inches, and the width of each curtain 72 inches. The 11 curtains shall have one measure. You shall couple 5 curtains by themselves, and 6 curtains by themselves, and shall double over the 6th curtain in the forefront of the tent. You shall make 50 loops on the edge of the one curtain that is outermost in the coupling, and 50 loops on the edge of the curtain which is outermost in the second coupling, you shall make fifty clasps of brass, and put the clasps into the loops, and couple the tent together, that it may be one. The overhanging part that remains of the curtains of the tent, the half curtain that remains, shall hang over the back of the tabernacle, eighteen inches on the one side, and eighteen inches on the other side, of that which remains, in the length of the curtain of the tent, shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle, on this side, and on that side to cover it. You shall make a covering for the tent of ramskins dyed red, and a covering of sea cowed hides above. You shall make the boards of the tabernacle of acacia wood standing up. 180 inches shall be the length of a board, and 27 inches the width of each board. There shall be two bags in each board, joined to one another. Thus you shall make for all the boards of the tabernacle. You shall make the boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards to the south side, southward. You shall make forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for its two pegs, and two sockets under another board for its two pegs. For the second side of the tabernacle, on the north side, twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. For the far part of the tabernacle westward, you shall make six boards. You shall make two boards for the corners of the tabernacle in the far part. They shall be double beneath, and in the same way they shall be whole to its top to one ring. Thus shall it be for them both. They shall be for the two corners. There shall be eight boards, and their sockets for silver, sixteen sockets, two sockets on the one board and two sockets on the another board. You shall make bars of acacia wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle. 
with five bars for the boards on the side of the tabernacle for the far part westward. The middle bar in the middle of the boards shall pass through from end to end. You shall overlay the boards with gold and make their rings of gold for places for the bars. You shall overlay the bars with gold. You shall set up the tabernacle according to the way that it was shown to you on the mountain. You shall make a field of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twinned linen with cherubim. The work of the skillful workmen shall it be made. You shall hang it on four pillars of acacia overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold or four sockets of silver. You shall hang up the veil under the clasps and shall bring the ark of the testimony in there within the veil. The veil shall separate the holy place from the most holy for you. You shall put the mercy seat and the ark of the testimony in the most holy place. You shall set the table outside the veil, and the lamp stand against the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. You shall put the table on the north side. You shall make a screen for the door of the tent of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twinned linen. The work of the embroiderer. You shall make for the screen five pillars of acacia and overlay them with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold. You shall cast five sockets of brass of water. 